So uh, this is your this is gonna be your first lab. This is just setting up the hello world program with your first lab in this thing. What I'd like for you to do at this time is click on file new project. And that would actually create the new project with this thing. So at this time, I'd like for you to on the left hand side over here, I'm gonna call this the five checkpoints. Make sure you have these five checkpoints, that's what I have. So the first checkpoint is Visual C General. That's what I like for you. That's the checkpoint number one. Second checkpoint is make sure you select empty project. Third checkpoint is to give it a name. I'm going to call this thing hello world. One word, uppercase L, H, and W, lowercase E O L, lowercase O R L D. Second of all, is what I like for you is give it a path. For in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create this under a directory inside my course. For the spring that I'm gonna do this, and I'm I have a course here. I have uh, I'm gonna create another folder that I'm gonna be creating, working with it. I'm gonna call this thing Lab One with it. Now remember, you gotta do this under that same parameter that I asked you to create that name, that file that we just created. So in your lab that you just created, make sure you follow that nomenclature. I asked you to save it as whatever it is, Lab One. Uh, underscore your dash your first initial your full last name blah 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 so all this that we're doing you're going to have to do this the same thing inside of that directory in that lab directory or that homework directory that i'm doing but i'm just going to practice this for you right now so i'm going to call this lab one point it to so again let me just point out general is checkpoint number one checkpoint number two checkpoint number three is hello world checkpoint number number four is your location where you're going to store this file and the and checkpoint number five make sure you disable this checkbox right here so turn off or disable uncheck both of these boxes checkbox right here you see that checkpoint number five you got to do these five steps for me if you don't uh, you're going to have problem compiling issues with it as well after you do the five checkpoints click OK <clears throat> give it a second So after you do that, this is what it looks like. You're ready to add in our first C++. So you right mouse click, come over to your project name, Hello World, like I just did here. Right mouse click on it. And then you come down and you click on Add New Item. Okay, Add New Item. And you open up this dialog box, click on your CPP file. In the name, I want you to call it Main. All right, and you click on Add. So, um... It's going to generate the CPP file for you. Now, I want to crank up this font size up by going to Tools, Options. There's three settings I always like to set. So under uh, Environment, I'm going to click on Fonts and Color. Because I'm doing this on the recording so you can see a better font and resolution in this. I have this about on 20. Then you crank this up to about 22. I also always like to have uh, my word wrap, so find your text editor, find your CPP, uh, your text editor, your C++, check the word wrap for me, and line number, the two I like for you to do. So three things in the options. One is the word wrap, the second one is the line number, and the first one I, I did was the under the general environment is the fonts and color, and you adjust this to, to the way you want it. I click on OK. I'm ready to actually put in my first program. So the first three lines of codes I like to have for all your source code for the entire course. Of course, your name goes here. Your second one is the course number. This is 1436. Whatever section you have, this is, this is a 83002 or you know your online section, whatever that number comes with, you gotta put that here as well. So your third line forward slash forward slash this is just going to mass up whatever is after this this is more going to be talked about in, in chapter two in the basic elements of c plus plus i like to give you, you need a description of this of this code so what the source code in this case your this is your hello world first c plus plus program for example okay now you gotta take my word in this few next few line here. In the next six weeks, you're gonna 
see this come through a lot more in the next few more weeks, next few more days, or whatever it is with it. The first line I like for you to put on is pound include. You notice my IntelliSense kicks in. This is a preprocessor. This preprocessor actually loads in uh, a lot of the uh, features that you're going to actually be able to use this. The first library file I like for you to bring in is IOStream, input output stream the data with it. The second line is using name space std. This line allows you to actually use the CNC out in line, all the insertion extraction, all that stuff with it. The next fun main function is the main function, int main, left and right parentheses, hit enter, left curly brackets, hit another enter for me. Give it a couple of lines in between. I want you to put in the word return zero with a semicolon. Now, go into about line 10 uh, between line 11 for me. I want you to type in the word C out, meaning you're outputting with insertion extraction of a string saying that hello world, this is my first C++ program. So come on over here with it. All right. So you notice you have all of this. Now this is the compiler. Make sure you look through this and you don't have any green squiggly lines or red squiggly line with this. Just one point out. This is NL, not number one. N line. Okay. Don't mistake in this. Some of you might come in and type in N1. If you did that, it's going to give you looking something like this. There's no such thing as N1. It's NL. So you see that green squiggle line here? So put it back as NL, the letter L, as in list, love, so on. So the next step I need for you to put in is the word system and put in a parentheses in string and put the word pause for me in here and come out of this and make sure you have a semicolon after this command. Like that. So I want to explain through this you know, after this is all white space I'm doing right here. So uh, control S to save, file save, however you want to do this. Make sure you save it. So you're going to use a couple of commands. Control F5 is actually going to compile this. Control with the F5, not the number 5, F5 on your function key. And I'd like for you to kick on, click on yes. Give it a second. It's usually a lot faster than this. I don't know why my computer is kind of slow. So it looks something like this. Pause it to the screen. Let me just change this property right here so we make this a little bigger so you can see. A little better with this. And this is what it looks like. And I ask you in the in the assignment in the lab uh, for you to take a screenshot of this thing. So make sure you take a screenshot of it. It's highlighted in yellow. Make sure you, you welcome you snip it, whatever it is, screenshot this for me and all the steps I'm looking for. All right, so this concludes the Hello World lab, the first lab I want you to run with this thing. All right, we'll talk more about the rest of the, the lab and the assignment, but your goal in this first lab is to achieve this and turn in what I, my instructions will ask you on the first lab. Thanks.